Lisa Redman here with Redwoods head coach Nat St. Laurent after they just punched their ticket to New York. Nat, when you woke up this morning, what did you know about this Redwoods team that was going to make them advance to New York? We, we, we had our confidence back. We were really focused. We had a, couple, a great walkthrough, a great practice the night before. Um, we were excited to be in the playoffs, right? I mean, we were, the emotions it took to get here and then to finally get here, we knew we were going to play hard. And uh, I love our guys. I mean, they, they play hard. They do the little things right. They stick together, and they're just a fun group to be around. You guys were down at halftime. What did you say to them in the locker room to get them going? Yeah, we just needed to calm down and relax. You know, we told the defense to take a deep breath. Um, goalie was playing great. Offensively, we had to fix our spacing, and when we did that, we were fine. And uh, we, we wanted to look to get a couple goals in transition. And, you know, we come out, and Johnny Sexton gets us a nice goal. And, um, you know, Apple got us one, I believe, or Glaze. So, um, yeah, the, the guys just responded, and they've been doing that since training camp. I've been talking about it all year. You reside here in Columbus, Ohio, and you had some of your team out here. How good was that to come out here and play in front of all of them? I'll tell you, the, the wind was great, and, uh, you know, I, I had a terrible feeling in my gut just because I love Jackson Place, and I've been thinking about him, and I'll continue to pray for him. But, uh, you know, seeing, seeing these guys run down to the field dancing and giving that hug, it just uh, put a lot of things in perspective. So we won a game today, and um, we're excited to we get another group, another week together in New York, and, you know, we're moving on to the playoffs, surviving in advance. Awesome, thank you, Nat. Here with Ryder, Garnsey, Ryder, I'm sure there was a lot of emotions for you and this entire team going to this game. How were you able to put that aside and just play? Yeah, I mean, first playoff game in PL history is pretty cool to be a part of, for sure. But, you know, when you step out here between the lines, just at the end of the day, it's just lacrosse. So I think once the game started, maybe after the first minute or two, we sort of settled in and got into a little bit of a groove. Your goalie, Tim Troutner, he's a rookie, but he plays like a champion. How big has he been for this team and especially in this game? Yeah, I mean, he's been huge all year. Whenever we need to be picked up a little bit, you know, in the early in the game, they had a majority of the possessions, and he stole a couple and really kept us in it early. So, you know, that's, that's sort of what we just expect from him. He's an unbelievable goalie, and he just showed it once again tonight. You guys head to New York where you'll face either the Whip Snakes or Chaos. Who do you want to face? doesn't matter. It's all about us. Awesome. Thank you, Ryder. Thank you. Here with Wes Berg, who had a hat trick in the third quarter alone. You guys were down at the half, came back in, scored a ridiculous amount of goals, including yourself. How did you guys sort of pep, get a pep talk going in the uh, locker room to sort of push you into the game? Uh, I think we played fine off the beginning. They came out pretty hot, and yeah. we just kind of weathered the storm a bit. And, um, you know, offensively, sometimes we get a little bit stale, but once we get going, um, we've got a lot, of, a lot of weapons out there, and we start moving the ball well and start playing as a team. We're, we're pretty tough to cover, and our defense and goaltending has been really solid. So we kind of knew we just needed to settle in a bit, and, and we finally did that at the end of the third and, and really kept it going into the fourth. Came into this game with the number one and number two defenses in the league. How did you know that was going to affect this game, and how did you plan accordingly? Uh, you know, these, these games are crazy. Sometimes it can be a low-scoring games, uh, but the 12-minute quarters, it can be over before you know it. And um, we just knew both teams were going were gonna to have a strong defense. We just had to put some goals in and go on our runs, and, and we did that, and we started to solve them at the end, and we started to get a lot of looks. You guys head to New York next weekend, where you'll either play the Whip Snakes or Chaos. Who would you rather play? Uh, I don't think it matters to us. I think as long as we play play our game, we can we can beat anybody. And at the same time, we we you know start to we've had some games where we we didn't play so well, and, and anybody in this league can win. So it's just important for us to to come out and play like we did today in that second half, and and we can uh, we can make it to the championships. Awesome. Thank you, Wes. Thank you.